Welcome to From the Den Podcast, providing Bears and NFL fans alike with compelling news, discussion, and debate. I'm your co-host, Benjamin, joined alongside my dear friend and co-host, Oren. Hey, Benjamin. Let's get right into it. As always, kickoff starts now. Oren, take us away. Okay, so the Bears didn't really seem great last year. They, they seemed, seemed a bit incompetent. Mm-hmm. But what, game you, what, what game do you think resembled the 2018 Bears the most? Ah, uh, nostalgia. Well, I mean, there are a few that come to mind, but mainly, and this one, I'll defend my point, I would say the Redskins for a few reasons. First of all, they had a defensive touchdown, which was a lot more rare in 2019 than it was in 2018. And additionally, Trubisky actually, I mean, he played pretty well. He was able to deliver to Taylor Gabriel three times. It was almost like the Tampa game where it wasn't a, it was a pretty bad defense, and, but Trubisky was still able to, you know, deliver a bunch of good throws and uh, get the ball in Taylor Gabriel's hand for three touchdowns in the first half. But another reason why I chose the Redskins game over other games that maybe later in the season that also might have resembled 2018 is because there was still, when I was watching that game live, it's still like, I still had hope for the bears. I still had more hope for the bears yeah. than I would have watching a game where they might've played better, but it was still later in the season. And I was all like sad already. But at this point in the season during the Redskins game, I was, I was feeling great. It was cause it was still in the first four games. Yeah. I agree with you. I think that the Redskins game was a game that really boosted confidence because it felt like the Bears played against Green Bay at home and they lost. And it felt like Green Bay was bad the year before. And it felt like the Bears got three points and they held the yeah. Packers to 10 points. It's and disgusting. They held Rodgers to 10 points. That's your dream scenario. And then they played the Broncos and they won by a, on a game winning field goal. Yeah. So it seemed exactly, it seemed like such a statement win at the time and it was just so exhilarating. Yeah. And it resembled that game resembled what all of 2018 resembled. But unfortunately, you know, the big change and shift that Bears fans hoped would happen after that game, or at least just maintaining momentum, maybe not a big change, just never occurred. Yeah, it never never really sustained for long. They played well against the Vikings, but then the Raiders game, I think that's when they... Yeah. And I would say the Cowboys game, because I remember watching the Cowboys game, and it was... A Cowboys team that was not doing great, but they're a good team. They have Prescott, Elliott, Cooper. They have a great offense. And the Bears won that game 31-24. You look at the score, okay, they won by a touchdown. That's not good. That's good, but not amazing. But the Bears kind of dominated the game. It was, it was 24-7 at the end of the third quarter. And the Bears just they scored game, they scored stupid touchdowns. It felt like the Bears' offense, the Bears' defense, may not have had the turnovers that they would like or the stuff that normally the Bears' defense had in 2018, but it felt like dominance. It felt like the best passing offense in the NFL was stopped. They didn't yeah. score the touchdown. And the, a great running back in Elliott with a good offensive line couldn't do anything. It felt like a, like a 2018 Bears' defense. And, and, and. Turnovers. The Bears offense was actually able to put up yeah, 30 exactly. plus points, which was a rarity. Yeah, and also, exactly. to, to your credit, that, what I just said, and also the Cowboys are a much better team than the Redskins, even if they were a disappointment last year. Yeah, and so, what made yeah. that win feel like so much like the 2018 team is that the Bears technically were still in playoff contention. Okay, okay, okay. I knew, I knew that was going to get brought up. Here's my bottom line. Here's what I'm going to be saying. I kind of brought this up before when I was mentioning the Redskins. I was weighing between choosing the Redskins or the Cowboys for the answer to this question. But I chose the Redskins because during the time like of the Cowboys game and around like that like week maybe 14 plus or like from week 12 on, I was saying if the Bears make the playoffs this year, like they'll do badly, they'll get out in the first round and they don't deserve to make the playoffs. At that time by week 10, by week 12 or sometime near then the bears were just such an undisciplined team it it was clear that even if they would make the playoffs they wouldn't have an impact and it was really like an un the team unworthy of making the playoffs is what i'm saying so yeah well i I, the cowboys game rolled around even though i was happy that the bears played well i just felt like it didn't it didn't represent the the 
uh, the season as, as much, and I, and I had so much less hope than I did into the Redskins game. I agree with you, but look at the Titans. If you take out their last four or five games – they shouldn't have made the playoffs. Yeah, fine, but like I, I, I don't but, know. It's, it's the Bears. I, I trust them more to mess things up than I trust the Titans to mess things up. And also, and also, I want to talk about the Titans. They didn't bring in. They didn't bring in. The Bears didn't bring in Ryan Tannehill for their past five for their last five games. <laughs> I get it. You never a completely different quarterback. You so. never know Trubisky. Trubisky can one game look like no, 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 no. Or in one game. <laughs> One game, Trubisky can look like uh, a Pro Bowl quarterback. Three and another. You know, one game, he'll look like a pile of garbage. Another game, he'll look like a slightly less full <laughs> pile of garbage. <laughs> wow, man. All right, all right, all right. M- moving on, you got anything else to say? No. I think that the Cowboys game may have had a may – have, it may have shown that the Bears offense was not the worst in the NFL because they played well. Trubisky played well. Montgomery played well which you could say that that doesn't really reflect the 2018 season because they weren't dominant on offense. They were average at offense. Yeah. yeah. But I feel like in general, the defensive dominance in that game and the offensive, just the offensive excitement, like reminds me of, a, of the Bears in 2018. If you enjoyed this episode of From the Den, please remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Or, if you're a Packers fan, remember to dislike and leave a nasty comment. Click the links on the screen to access additional content.